Good morning, Audacious Church, or good afternoon, or good evening, or whenever you choose to watch this video. Hi, my name is Julie, and I'm part of Manchester Central Campus. First and foremost, I'm a child of God and a follower of Jesus. I am part of the prayer team, an alpha team, and a regional leader. Today, I would like to talk to you about one of my favourite Bible characters, which is Moses. You can read all about him in the book of Exodus. Moses was called by God to deliver the children of Israel from bondage, from their taskmaster Pharaoh. Jesus came to save the whole world, seek and save the lost from a life of sin. Moses had an encounter with, with God in the desert through a burning bush. Later on, God asked Moses to go to Pharaoh and bring the children of Israel out of Egypt. Moses comes up with lots of excuses like, Who am I? What if they don't listen to me? Or believe that God has sent me? I am not eloquent. I'm not good at speaking. God revealed himself to Moses by saying, I am who I am. Say to the children of Israel, I am sent you. What excuses do you make when God asks you to do something for him? I have been like Moses, made lots of excuses and I've made good and bad choices in my life. Jesus has delivered me from the power of sin. Like Moses, I've been used by God to pray for people. Some have been healed miraculously, others have had an encounter with him. By faith, I know God has touched their lives. I have been used to witness to people in my neighbourhood and throughout my life. I have been miraculously healed time after time. And I have so many miracles, I have had so many miracles in my life, it's hard to name just one. Today, you and I can choose to be obedient or disobedient to the call of God on our lives. I am spoke to Moses in an intimate way that he had to put a veil over his face when he spoke to the children of Israel. Moses received the Ten Commandments from God and then passed them on to the children of Israel. Through Jesus, that veil has been removed and we can speak to God through Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus gave us a new commandment to have a love for one another as Jesus has loved us. By this, the world will know we are his disciples if we have a love for one another. John thirteen thirty four to 35 Our Father wants us to have an intimate relationship with him. He wants to be part of our everyday lives. Jesus is interested in all we think, say and do and he wants to be Lord of our lives. Would you allow him to come into your life in a fresh new way? Invite him to every, into every area of your life. In John 17 verse 3 it says that this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom he has sent. My heart for you all is that you will cre create a closer relationship with the Father through Jesus the Son by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you and keep you. Have a great day. Bye.